Hi, I'm Florida State Representative Carlos Guillermo Smith, and I'd like to share with you the story of the Inspiration Orlando United Mural Project. On June 12, 2016, Orlando endured an unprecedented tragedy, the Pulse nightclub shooting. The Inspiration Orlando United mural gently and lovingly captures the faces and portrays the inspirational stories of the 49 angels, the survivors, and the community responders through the beauty and power of public art. Everywhere the mural travels, it generates moments upon moments of healing, connection, and inspiration. Visits from schools, youth groups, and community centers impart the message that love is stronger than hate. I envision this helping people around the world understand that they, don't, they know the story, they know where they ended up, but this is where they were going. This is how they grew up. This is who they were. And that's what this amazing thing is going to do for us and for them. It's going to teach. I'm hugging him, and then he's reflected in a mirror, and he's smiling. And Michael said he painted him that way, and Bud picked it as reflecting the love and happiness from his son's life, celebrating his son's life, but also showing that we're not destroyed. It's a beautiful tribute to the victims. It's a beautiful tribute to the people who came together and put so much effort into making life come back to some sense of normal for those who lived and those who lost people. So it, it's a work of art that, that is going to resonate no matter where it's hung, no matter where it's put. If it goes on a traveling show, if they hang it up in City Hall, it will always bring the tears, but in a good sense. It will always bring the smiles, again, in a good sense. I think, uh, I think Michael did something remarkable there. I would have thought we would have fought a war on U.S. soil here in our backyard. This is Orlando. Omar Delgado rescued Angel Cologne by dragging his bullet-riddled body over glass and debris to the safety of a fast food parking lot across the street from Pulse. I'm so glad Angel was able to make it. A guardian over Angel, now highlighted in history. Corporal Delgado risked not returning to his own wife and kids so someone else would see their child again. This is, uh, you know, kind of like the platform of understanding doesn't matter who you are, what you're going through. This represents unity. This represents family. Light can be found in the darkest of places. And the Kimball sisters at the center of this mural feel that connection too. Each one of these are hand cut and hand drawn, so no two are exactly the same. Who knew the smallest of hearts could pump out so much joy? On the day of Pulse, these sisters wanted to give their own blood. They understand the pain of loss because their father died a few years before. Their mission and the others symbolized across this wall will soon help more children understand what makes this community so special. It would be wonderful. Through a 12-week curriculum, Shameen Hurst plans to teach in Orlando schools. We can't protect kids from being exposed to horrible things and tragic things, but we can help try to show them that there is a way to rise above and to find some beauty and sadness. Grace in the face of tragedy to ensure a future that's bright. They call this the city beautiful. In Orlando. There's a reason for that. Lauren Seabrook, Channel 9, Eyewitness News. I have to tell you, I broke down when I when I saw it the, the, the first time. Um, to even be included in, in, in that range of people and, and in those hearts and, and all of that meant a lot to me. Seeing the crow's feet in my eyes, in a way, uh, it, it, it made it very real to me. And um, it worked in to the healing process brilliantly. It puts face and color and life. Uh, it brings people back to life. It makes me smile, it makes me cry. I think that's a wonderful thing. That was a glimpse into a small part of the magic that makes this project so special. 
One of the remarkable things about this mural is its ability to travel. The mural was displayed at Orlando's Lake Eola at the one year day of remembrance gathering in 2017. Thousands upon thousands of people were able to see and hear from the artists about the painting. Every face was glued to the art and the explanation of the story behind the paint. Try to tell people, just love your family, love your friends. Let's just share love with other people because that's gonna help us as a human to change the world day by day. So I'm so happy to be here and I just wanna share with you guys that something is very happy to me when they do the painting and a couple months later so I bring my son and he put his uh, his hand in my chest so it was so emotional for me and also Christopher, the guy with the uh, shirt with the American flag, I met him after the event and he's one of my best friends now. We travel together sometimes to different states and gay prides and we speak about gun control or how it's uh, just share our history and try to be uh, positive and motivate other people to be a you know, good person. So. He wanted to be a star, and now he is a star in heaven. It's awesome knowing that my son will live on forever. That's it. The inspiration Orlando United Mural and its message has captured hearts and gained attention locally, nationally, and internationally. Its impact reaches beyond the Pulse nightclub tragedy, and it speaks to our hearts. It has taken us all on an incredible journey, and we hope you will join us in spreading its message of equality, acceptance, compassion, and inspiration through healing, community, and art. Faces here with the smiles and the looks and the hope and the dreams in their eyes just by looking at them. That's what we need to remember. And that's, you know, I want to burst out right now, but I want to smile too because these are the faces that I want to remember. And I see the smiles smiling back at us. Um, powerful. <laughs>